Mwah! Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I missed you guys. The intro, it just never seems to get old. <laughs> but like I said, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I missed y'all. So, a little update. The weather, the weather here in the great Pacific Northwest is absolutely crazy. So for the past couple of days, it's been like 105. And if you're from Washington and or Oregon, you know it don't get that hot here. No work, just been at home taking care of uh, the apartment, also planning um, content and whatnot. So for the next couple of videos ahead of us, it's gonna be something a little earlier that way i don't get caught out in the freaking crazy sun but um yeah like i said weather's weather weather is popping off right now sure y'all stay hydrated don't need y'all dying on me hydrate sure y'all are taking care of yourself just another reminder we got to take care of ourselves so today i'm gonna bring y'all along for this unfathom depth kitchen episode. Real quick shout outs to Juju. Juju actually commented on either a post or a short that I posted and or one of the previous Unfathom Depth Kitchen videos and he is getting his wish granted today. Big shout outs to you Juju. Thank you for giving me a recommendation on a dish that you absolutely love. Don't worry your boy's gonna your boy's gonna take care of you. Today we are going to make spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti is absolutely my number one dish. I absolutely love spaghetti. I'll eat spaghetti in the heat, obviously, making it in the heat and or in the cold. It will probably be best in the cold, to be honest. But yep, spaghetti is my number one. Will always be right there in my heart. Um, spaghetti and meatballs today. So before I hop into the ingredients and how we're gonna do it, real quick, if y'all are new and you guys aren't subscribed already, do your boy a really big favor, smash that sub button, hit the like button on this video as well. Then what you're gonna wanna do is click that noti bell because then what will happen is when any unfathomed depth banger drops, you'll get a little notification saying that your boy dropped another banger and you'll be able to get that ass right over here and watch that video. But your boy got that Sicilian blood up in me. So I'm gonna have to put 110% into this dish today, put some respect on it because you know, you, you gotta rep for the motherland. All right, so let's get started. Let's take a look at our ingredient list and we'll go from there. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we got all the ingredients right here. I'm gonna go through all of the ingredients. That way, if you guys want to try this, then you guys know exactly what to go out to the store and grab to recreate this banger. This one's gonna throw you off. Because let me tell you what, before I tried Mrs. Nikki's meatballs, <laughs> uh, this was one of the ingredients that I would have never guessed this seasoning. Seasoning. Hello? There we go, there we go. Okay, this seasoning is Swedish meatball mix. Now we're making spaghetti and meatballs and we're not making Swedish meatballs. I know, I know that, but, but just hear me out. Try it because it is absolutely amazing. It is a game changer when you're making meatballs, whether it be for spaghetti, Swedish meatballs um, just gives it that a good flavor. Like I said, it's just a game changer. Trust your boy. Try it out the next time. I promise. It's a banger. I guess some onion powder while seasoning anything. Got our peppercorn medley. I guess there's black and white pepper in here. So shout outs to you. Got some garlic powder on deck. Boy. Got our Italian seasoning. Yes, sir. Got some crushed chilies. You know, we gotta add some spice up in there. Got some ground fennel. 
Yeah, sir. This is gonna go into the sauce. Then, got some breadcrumbs. Obviously, we're gonna have to get our hands a little dirty, touch the meat, pause, mix all this good stuff up in the meat, pause. <laughs> got some tomato paste thick in our spaghetti sauce. If we're not happy with the thickness, shout out to Mrs. Nikki for the comb or er, corn. Sorry. I made a grave mistake, that's not cornbread. I love cornbread. I can't put disrespect on cornbread's name like that. So, shout outs to Mrs. Nikki for making banana bread. Yeah, let's get back into what we was doing. So we got the spaghetti noodles. Yes, I know it's store brand, not Barilla. But just hear me out. Things is expensive, so your boy is saving his money. Then we got some fresh produce from yours sincerely had to bring them in because the sun is absolutely killing all the plants got our fresh basil right there got some ground beef because we're gonna be using that for our meatballs obviously we got that banging tomato sauce yours truly Sento baby so just a little insight on why I got so hyped on the Sento that brand is absolutely amazing. I grew up on that brand. Um, as I said before, got some Sicilian up in my bloodline. Got to put respect on any Italian or Sicilian dish that I will be making. And so, just a little bit, a little or a couple of facts about that brand. This is not a paid sponsorship by any means, but hey, Sento, if you want to sponsor your boy, your boy be chefing it up and he uses all of your tomato products. But anyways, uh, Cento is an amazing tasting product when it comes to any tomato product, whether it be paste, crushed tomatoes, diced tomatoes, whatever you guys need, get Cento. Like I said, Cento is the best. Um, their vineyard is actually located next to Mount Vesuvius, which is a volcano and a volcanic soil that these sweet, sweet tomatoes are planted in but basically volcanic soil if y'all don't know then volcanic soil is basically rich in potassium and phosphorus so obviously that volcanic soil has a lot to do with why these tomatoes come out with that umami that tanginess that acidic and sweet balance to the tomatoes so like i said y'all if y'all are gonna make anything like this that requires tomatoes Go and get Sento. Another name that these uh, this brand goes by is actually San Marzano. So if y'all don't see Sento, look for that name as well. It's a bell pepper, got us an onion. Growing up, my mother actually got whole tomatoes. And what she would do is she'd just chop them in half and then she would drizzle it in olive oil, sprinkle it with black pepper, salt, throw it into the oven, basically roast them and um, that's how she would make her tomato sauce. So, like I said, gonna put respect on it. Gonna have to run it back. Maybe instead of a spaghetti and meatballs, we'll make a spaghetti bolognese or a spaghetti pomodoro. You, you boy, you boy Sicilian. So we're gonna have to put respect on any type of dish like this. Like I said, again, um, we'll run it back. So I'm gonna dice this one up too, only because I wanna put some in the sauce as well. All right, meatball time. So I got our bowl for the mixing, got our breadcrumbs, got our meat, got our bell peppers, cause we're gonna put them in there. We're only gonna use half of these onions because then we'll do something with the sauce, but half of them will go into the meat mixture. Got our Swedish meatball mix right here, Italian seasoning and some fennel. Also got our egg for the binding agent. It is nice and seasoned. Obviously, got our salt. I'm gonna put a little, little teaspoon of salt. Then we got our fennel. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of that. 
Same with the Italian seasoning. Hit that baby good, boy. And then, breadcrumbs in next. Some of that binding agent. Then we're gonna crack an egg in here. So we're only gonna add a quarter of the onions into our meatballs, and then we're gonna throw these boys in there as well. Egg in, and obviously when you guys are binding stuff, you don't have to put all three in automatically. Kind of just go crack one, put it in, go ahead, try and see if the meat is holding well enough for your liking, and then so on and so forth if you need to. Crack another one in there, or maybe add more breadcrumbs. All right, all right, all right. So seasonings, onions, and the peppers are all mixed up. Time to go ahead and make our meatballs. Meatballs are done, boy. Another thing is, if you want to, and y'all don't want to put the onions and the bell pepper in the meatballs raw, totally okay. I prefer to put them in raw because one, they cook while the meatball is cooking, and two, there's a little bit of bite in it. So, um, and then also while it's cooking, it, the onions and the bell peppers just caramelize straight into the meatball. So if y'all want to, what you guys can do is you guys can saute the onions and the bell peppers before y'all throw it into the meat. Like I said, cooking is all about what you like, what you're comfortable with, because guys, cooking is super easy. Yeah, it takes a little bit of prep, takes some time, but ultimately you're going to feel better, one, about yourself, and two, your body is gonna feel better because you're using the natural ingredients, you guys aren't going out you know, eating fast food all the time. So definitely keep that in mind. I'm gonna stick the meatballs in the fridge for now. Yep. We're gonna saute these up. That way we can throw it into our sauce, boy. Don't forget y'all garlic. All right, sauteing done. So what we're gonna to wanna to do with this, just set it to the side and then we go make a sauce. Our sauce is in. And as y'all can see, it's a little, it's a little thin. It's looking a little thin. We want it a little thicker. That's where that paste come into play. So add in a little bit of tomato paste. And then like I said, y'all, it's, it all depends on what you want. So add that tomato paste in as much as you think you need to, to kind of thicken your sauce up a little bit. So we're going to add two tablespoons of our fennel. Gonna put just a little bit of salt, just a little bit. Add some of our chili. Made it a little spicy. Get it with the Italian seasoning. Get in there. Get in there. Some garlic. And the secret ingredient. If you know, you know. Time to add our vegetables in the sauce. What we gonna do is we're gonna take a couple of our basil leaves. We're gonna rip them up and we're gonna throw it in the sauce. Get in there, say hi to the sauce, introduce each other with the basil sauce and the vegetables. And you know, they're, they're gonna have a happy ever after. <laughs> displayed uh yeah so basically we're just gonna whack a lid on top of that have it just sit and cook slow cook for a little bit um i got the heat on two so we're just like i said just let it sit in there slow cook let let everybody get to know each other and um while that's happening i've got the sheet ready for the meatballs i'm gonna throw the meatballs in I got a couple of dishes to get done because your boy messed up and I did not get garlic bread, but don't you worry, single pretty hair on that head because your boy is going to show you a little mixture. I'm going to show y'all, you know, if y'all don't go to Costco and get that Italian bread or that French bread to make garlic bread yourself, or if you forgot to get it out of the stove, don't worry, your boy's going to show you a little mixture. That way you can do it at home. 
even if you only got the a loaf of bread. Meatballs in. Got our water ready. Egg and don't forget, y'all, always salt the water when you're making pasta. Time for the mixture. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to get a little bit of butter, throw it into the mic, make sure that that bowl is microwavable safe. Because once again, you burn the house down, there ain't no coming back from that. No butter. I'm gonna call that a teaspoon of garlic. Then you go hit it with that Italian seasoning. Get in there. And then mix her up. And just like so, y'all got the mixture for your garlic bread. Or, well, makeshift garlic bread, I guess. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, sir. Yep, just a slow cook. Everybody, uh, everybody meet each other, everybody hold hands. Mm hmm. Yer. Yes, Y'all land on a little secret. We're gonna take some of this sauce and we're gonna put it in a Tupperware because we're gonna use that for another vid. Yes, sir. New balls done and in the sauce. So we're gonna mix this up and then we just waiting on the noodles now. Noodles in, ladies and gentlemen. Don't break the pasta, okay? Just put it in, let it fall, and then slowly as the noodle cooks, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take some tongs, you're just gonna wanna twist the noodles until all of the noodles are submerged and are cooking. Noodles out, ladies and gentlemen. What you're gonna wanna do is you just hit it with a little bit of olive oil. That way the noodles don't stick together. Just hit it with a little bit of olive oil and then mix it up. Everything is done. Time to make it look pretty. It's gonna wrap up the video today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Like I said, do your boy a big, big favor. Smash that like button and if you're new, hit the sub button as well. Welcome to the Unfathomed Up family. A lot of things are coming to this channel and I'm super excited that I get to share all of it with y'all. My twist and take on spaghetti and meatballs. Um, that's what I grew up with growing up other than the meatballs. So shout outs to you, Mrs. Nikki and mama. Love y'all so much. Thank you guys for the idea. A shout out my boy, Juju. I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope that you appreciate, I guess, my take on spaghetti and meatballs. Obviously, we had to make do with the garlic bread, but made the mixture and we pulled through. So shout out to you, Juju. Hopefully I've made you proud. Um, thank you again for the recommendation. Like I said, guys, do not be afraid to drop down into the comments section. Let your boy know what you like to see me cook and I'll do the best of my abilities to be able to recreate your favorite dish and put, put some respect on it. Like I said earlier, another Unfathomed Depth Kitchen EP coming at you guys' head top. So stay tuned for that. And it is that time where I'm gonna love ya and I'm gonna leave ya. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Cheers!